Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry on Diana Jungle here in Season 12. First things first, you're gonna want Conquer with Triumph, Alacrity, Coup de Gras, Free Boots, and Cosmic Insight. You generally want to start your Q because it is your lowest cooldown ability. The main thing you're gonna be focusing on Diana Jungle is spreading out your passive while farming your camps. Every time you use any ability, you get 3 seconds of bonus attack speed, and every third attack does 300% 300 bonus damage against monsters. So right now it's 25 magic damage bonus times 300%, so 25 times 3. And that scales up super, super high, super, super fast with items you get. Because it scales off your uh, your magic damage, off your ability power. So we're going to start Q. If you're on red side, you usually want to get Q then E. That way you can hop Krug wall really easily. If you're on blue side, you usually just start dub Q into W. Because you don't really have a wall to jump over. Going Q, W, or Q, E doesn't change the clear speed un unless... It just depends on which side you start on. So for red side, QE. For blue side, QW. Here we'll hop over the wall. We got a pretty long leash. Very solid. Then we just hop right over. Whenever you hit something with your Q, it gives you vision of it. It also applies moonlight. If a target has moonlight on it, you can E to it and it will uh, put your E instantly off of cooldown and ready to use. So your Q is how Diana is able to spam her E. You basically use her E twice, but you never actually want to put it on cooldown when you're farming because it's a 22 second cooldown. So it's actually really bad if you do that. You usually want to auto attack at least once or twice before you E after the Q if possible when you're only level two because we're trying to spread out our passive attack speed bonus. Now that we have our W, we won't have to think about it as much because we have this no another ability to weave in. So for example here, we can QE in and then just wait a second to W once our attack speed wears off. So our attack speed just wore off and our Q came up just like that. Pretty much that whole time we were attack speed steroided. You can take blue and Gromp at the same time pretty comfortably. gonna focus down the blue buff your passive is aoe so is your q that's why it can make sense to take them at the same time we just did a 315 clear full hp it's decent get another point in our q i think this gank's looking better you can go flash on diana ignite's usually better because it guarantees your scuttle crap bites we're gonna walk up and try not to use our stuff too early i'm gonna turn on our w we want to slow him with an auto before we Q, ideally. Then we dash when we can no longer reach him. Then we dash again when we can no longer reach him. If you can already reach someone with an auto attack when you're ganking, you usually don't want to uh, waste all your abilities because you're easy gap closer. So even though he flashed away and he's a very fast champion, he wasn't able to get away because we still had double E's. And I also slowed him with my red buff auto before I queued him. That way, landing Q would be easier since Q is a skill shot. We're up against the Lilia. This is actually a really good matchup for Diana. She plays very well against champions who don't want you to get in on them. Surprise, this camp's up. I wonder if she's AFK or if she just ran a really weird route. If Red buffs up, she's AFK. Oh, wow. She's not AFK. A little surprised by that. And she's a goner. That is uh, it's pretty spicy. Still have our Ignite. I don't think Timo can really fight us here. Got him. Yeah. That's, that's why you take Ignite. Ignite makes a big difference in one versus ones to the death. Makes a huge, huge difference. Your fights are usually going to be a W, Q, E, auto attacks, and then you usually save your second E for uh, to expand your attack speed because your E itself is very little burst. We'll pick up Hextech Alternator first back, a Blasting Wand, and a Dark Sill if you're fed. If you're not fed, don't even bother getting a Dark Sill. It's going to be pretty pointless. If you're behind, definitely don't want to waste the gold on it. Hextech Rocket Belt is 
a ridiculously good first iron rush on diana because it's a basically illusion dash plus movement speed after that plus damage you can get right on top of them rocket belt into qew drop the r on them we're gonna hit a very early level six because we leech top mini next p after our gank and we all have also taken some of lilia's camps gotten a couple of kills so we might hit six here oh we just need one more minion we're missing six xp which is one of anything we're going for the kaisa turn on our w we'll walk into range i didn't even use my e there because we didn't need to if kogma was about to die i would have otherwise you might as well hold on to it just in case they flash away because you don't want to eat of them and then afterwards they flash away and you're just in a weird spot Wow, I think Lilia might actually be trolling. I'm fully stacked on my Conqueror. She can't fight this. Down she goes. I think Lilia is actually just trolling at this point. Uh, that's some very strange behavior. Could be lag, I suppose. Our shield put in some absolute work there. Pike's trying to get the pick. You can't quite find it. Nice, nice, nice. Diana's super, super scrappy because of her W shield and conquer helps keep her healthy. We'll go for our Raptors into red buff here. We could look for a reset on our full rocket belt. Once again, you can go over walls with your Q. Ooh. Yep, this Pike's being kind of nutty. He's actually trying to hunt me down. <laughs> Uh, he when he went invisible here he went into my jungle that's hilarious my goodness his ignite was on cooldown we'll go ahead and pick up a uh, amp tome and uh, we can't quite get the rocket bell selling refill and waiting in base oh i really don't want to i'll just leave it's fine could grab tier two boots. Usually on Diana jungle, you're looking to get Sork shoes. Plated and Mercs are decent options. You only do it if their team is super heavy, one or the other. They're double magic damage with triple physical. Probably just a Sork shoe game for us. Oh, they took my red buff. The heck? Yeah, this Lily really seems like she's trolling. Pike's out of mana and he doesn't have boots. Oh, you messed up, my friend. Mm, they're lucky my E's on cooldown. I can kill Kaisa here, too. They're all running from me. It's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. They blew pretty much everything. <laughs> oh, why is Volibear not going in on that? That's unfortunate. Don't know if this is water or not. I'm going to move over a little bit. We'll kill the Lilia. Seems like she might be laggy or something. She's playing really weird. Regardless, though, this is an awful matchup for Lilia. She has no way of getting away from you. As long as you land QE, you can pinch off two to three autos. And then she starts speeding away. You have your second E to use. So it's kind of impossible for Lilia to play into Diana. It's one of her worst matchups. I can go bot side, help the Kogma. He should be able to solo her with his item diff as long as she doesn't land multiple lucky crits. We can kill her under turret. We'll just come around this way. Might not be worded. As long as the Alistar doesn't scare her away. She doesn't have boots. We have boots. We're moving at uh, 380. Mm, that was a good pike stun. I can reset. Rocket Bells is going to let us do all sorts of things, and Lily is likely going to try to invade us again, take our camps. We'll grab a control ward, look for blue buff. Timo counters Darius a little bit. You have to be willing to play him a certain way, though. From what I've seen, Timo with phase rush can do really well. Timo with early boots rush does really well. You have to stay super mobile, and if Darius never lands hook on you, then... Darius kind of just loses lane at that point. I 
Down goes Lilia. She's super, super far behind. Just getting killed in her jungle time after time. You want to go W max second since you already get a free E reset. The cooldown you gain isn't equivalent to what you gain off your W. We're going to Rocket Belt into her. Come on, fight to me. Down she goes. It's the beauty of having two E's. It's pretty much impossible for people to get away from you. There's nobody over here. Her blue buff's coming up soon. She'll be crossing down. Still have our second E. Yeah, this, she's so weird, man. Nice. We we saved our E to dodge. Since your E is uh, a big dash, it's, even if you're at point blank range, it's a big Lucian dash. It puts you behind them. You can use it to dodge abilities and to outplay stuff like skill shots, like Thresh hooks, Pike hooks, Blitz crank hooks, that type of stuff especially. You can use it to dodge... Aurelius stun, at least any skill shot. It's just particularly impactful versus uh, super scary hooks and stuff like that. Triumph is really nice to have on Irelia. That kept us alive there. We got ignited and uh, Triumph healed us for a crap load. And it's also given us a bonus 240 gold, which is pretty nuts. Second item rush on Diana. Usually looking for an hourglass. Ooh, whoa. I almost just bought it an elixir. You never want to do that in the early game. You only do that once you're full build or if you're going to the last team fight of the game, most likely. So yeah, on Diana, second full item, usually looking for a Zhonya's or Shadow Flame. If they don't have the damage to kill you, Shadow Flame's way better. But if they do, Zhonya's is better. I think they do have the damage. If I get Lilia slept or Pike hooked, things could get ugly very quickly. She's trying to reset or she's roaming. Might be able to get her. We're going to rock her belt into her, walk her down. She throws that out. I jump into her. I actually ended up missing my ability there. That sucked. It didn't... Uh, when I got stunned there, it basically didn't count my QE. Or maybe she dodged my Q. Because I put my E on full cooldown, which was really, really bad for her. She almost killed us. That was super unfortunate. We'll look to take Lilia's jungle. I wouldn't be surprised if she just rage quit. It really does seem like that player is probably just laggy with the way they're playing. Or maybe upset she didn't get a leash or something. I'm going to hold on to my Q just in case she steps up here. Oh yeah, she's not here. She'll lose her camps. Even though Diana's 5 camp clear isn't the fastest in the game at 315 something like a Karthus or a Kane is faster it's still pretty good 315 it's it's up there it's the top 10 percent of jungle clear speeds on top of that her clear speed gets much much better off her passive since it does 300 percent bonus damage against monsters so she can farm very well in the mid game build leads got my red smite on her down she goes she burns her flash Darius is 0 and 5. What is going on in this game? Some weird stuff happening. I have Ignite. We should be able to handle Irelia. I'm pretty sure Ignite's on cooldown. I can use that to close the distance. Oh, come on, baby. All right, we got the kill, but we died for it. We took a lot of damage from uh, the Irelia there. Pike was there to finish us off. He did 520 damage to us, which is nearly a third of our health. Alistar finishes him off. That's beautiful. It's a little surprising how much magic damage I really ends up doing. Do keep in mind that uh, we used our Q just to get in range to E her to begin with. So we were fighting her down basically two abilities. We were using our... Uh, E reset in a very aggressive way because I knew I could win the one versus one like for a fact because item diff right now and level difference 
However, Pike was there. And anyways, they surrendered. If you guys enjoyed this little Diana Jungle commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage to enemy champions, we did uh, beat out Teemo there. That's nice. For damage taken, we'd taken the most in the game as well. For self-mitigated damage, we'd taken the most as well. So we we're definitely doing the most tanking this game. For runes, Conqueror healed us for 643. That's really good in such a short game. Triumph healed us for 1,000 and gave us 300 bonus gold. Triumph is easily... One of the best runes in the game. Alacrity completed at 8 minute mark. That's great. Finishing it for 9 minute mark. Coup de Grasse did 365 damage. And got Magical Footwear 645. Holy crap. Get in it that early. Ridiculous. All in all, Diana Jungle in a great spot right now. Just make sure you don't pick her against things that are too good at soloing. Things like uh, Warwick is going to be super challenging. Really tanky kind of me melee tanks like Sejuani Jungle can give her issues as well. But against squishy junglers, kind of like Kindred or Lilia, Evelyn, Diana can do pretty well against.